Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Clyde Rivers, uh, just back from Africa. This is the Golden Rule Show. I'm gonna share some things with you this day that are gonna change your entire life. Uh, God is moving in ways on the continent of Africa in, in the, small, the small nation of uh, Burundi, Africa. There's a move of God that's taking place outside of church. It's taking place in the kingdom of God. One, one week ago Sunday, I was at the president's palace, and the president is leading the praise and worship. His, 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 uh, his family is a worship team, and the, the, the like, secret service is, is his, his actual dance team. This is a nation that's in a move of God. I'm telling you. I've seen nothing like it in the entire world. It is not a religious revival. It's a revival to help change an entire country. Mm. It's taking place right now. So, so I'm honored to have Pastor Dan with us yeah. today. What, a, what an unbelievable man. And my dear friend, Dr. Mike Pitzel. And guys, I want to talk about what God is doing outside of the, of, of the religious system, but he's doing it in the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Who would think, in our, uh, uh, and on that trip I had some people with me, and I said, this is something that you may never see again in the world. A president at his palace every Sunday leads the praise and worship <laughs> in the name of Jesus for one hour. He's the one with the microphone mm -hmm. singing, Jesus is the winner man all the time. <laughs> and, and guys, I, I'm going to share something. Uh, because the, the country went through hell in 2015. Oh. Uh, 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 and, and now I understand why. And I, I want to share some things, and then I'll, I'll open up, but I kind of I got to lay a grid first. What happens is this. Whenever you're attacked by whatever attacks you, if you win, you have authority over that that attacked you. Oh. So what took place was the, 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 the president uh, uh, in, a, in a sovereign nation wanted certain policies for his country, the international world, the community didn't want what he wanted. So they actually fought him, but they were fighting God. And I'm, man, I'm, I'm going to share something with you. I learned one thing that's major in this. Whenever you're going to change a nation, it takes two things. Fear in the oppressor. There's always fear in the one that's oppressed. And there's bondage in the one that's being oppressed. So what happens, you have to liberate both sides in order to have freedom. So the actual one that needs to be taught mm -hmm. freedom the most is the one that's oppressing. Mm -hmm. They understand bondage more than freedom. So to watch these things win in a country, it's unbelievable. So, 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 so I, mean, I mean, Pastor Dan, yes. what, South Africa. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. What's going on there? What, what's in your heart? What is going on in South Africa right now? Well, I'd been there twice in less than 12 months, and uh, in the, every place I've been to, incredible awakening has taken place. I know from a natural standpoint, they're making the news, and there's some dark stuff happening down there, and, uh, but that's, that's happening all over the world. But the, I really believe that uh, really the African continent as a whole yes. is experiencing more light hmm. of the kingdom than the United States is yes, right now. Yes, yes, yes. I, I hold that as a deep conviction. Yes. And I have a great history. Uh, mm. My grandfather was a missionary to Liberia, West Africa, yes. for 12 years. My mother grew up there. He planted 70 churches, built a Bible college and a home there. And uh, just, can I just share a little testimony? Sure, absolutely, yeah. go ahead. Um, uh, a man by the name of Joshua Bly, who was known as General Butt Naked during the Great Civil yes, War yes, there. Yes, um, They did a big documentary on the yes. news. Uh, Destiny Image uh, Press did a whole article on him. And uh, people all over the world have seen his testimony. Uh, and so this man uh, was a incredible, possessed by the third strongest demon on the continent of Africa. Mm -hmm. And this demon, his life had been dedicated to this mm -hmm. demon. And this demon showed him that if he would sacrifice one human child per battle and go into battle naked, that mm -hmm. he would never die and he would be invincible. 
Well, that's very well documented. He never, the bullets literally bounced off of his flesh. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and so when it was all over, he was responsible for thousands and thousands of deaths, including destroying all 70 churches that my grandfather, because hmm. he came from the same county. My grandfather was a missionary in Sinu County. He was born, raised, and his whole thing came out of Sinu County. He destroyed literally, indirectly or wow. directly, everything wow. that my grandfather built. Yes. Okay. Now, his testimony is that God comes to him in a form of a light, kind of like what Paul and Saul yeah. on the road to Damascus. Incredible transformation. He turns his life over to God. And uh, now he's going all over the continent telling his story, right? And uh, here's the great thing is a very dear friend uh, of, of mine, her name is Brenda Weber, she, God sovereignly connects him, connects her and him together. She literally becomes the president of Joshua Bly Ministries. I become now the vice president <laughs> of this man's ministry. Amen. I'm going there in November. I'm going to meet with him. I've talked to him on the phone personally. <laughs> but I'm telling you... <clears throat> I mean, I tell this story, and I'm giving the abbreviated version of it. Uh, this man totally sold out. Steven Spielberg drew, flew his private jet to Liberia, met with him, gave him $5,000 just for one copy of his book and uh, that tells his whole testimony and said, I want to do a movie. I'm going to give you a million dollars up front, and when the movie comes out, I'm going to send you millions and millions of dollars. You're going to be a millionaire. You can do whatever you want to do with your ministry and everything. But here's one thing. I can't put Jesus in the film because Jesus is not marketable in my movies. This is what Steven Spielberg said to him personally. And Joshua said to him, he said, Stephen, he said, I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you the rights to my story, and you don't have to pay me a dime, but you've got to leave Jesus in the story. Mm -hmm. Steven Spielberg wanted to take Jesus and the whole transformational experience mm -hmm. and put it like a psychiatrist yeah. helped him kind of thing, you know. And he said, and Stephen said, no, I, I, I won't be able to make any money if I do that. And he got back on his jet and flew back. So he literally gave up millions of dollars to stand up for Jesus. That's how radical this man's transformation wow. is. So now here we are. Now, I'm talking about, I just wanted to say, listen, I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what the devil has done. God always has the last word. It ain't Amen. over until he says it's over. <laughs> Amen. And now come today, now. come on now, this man who was totally <laughs> responsible that, for destroying everything yeah. that my grandfather, the entire legacy that my grandfather established in the, in the continent of Africa, uh, God supernaturally turned, turned that thing around. around and now I'm the vice president of Come that man's on. ministry, and God has connected <laughs> us. And when, before it's all said and done, I'm telling you, an incredible redemptive story. Yes. Everything's going to be rebuilt, yes. restored, to even to a greater measure. Because that's the way our yes. God works. Yes. That's just one story. Come on now. In one little nation in Liberia, what God is doing and the continent of Come Africa. Come on, somebody. Come on. Are you listening? Woo! Something is, is happening on yes. the continent of Africa, and I, I'll, I'll tell you why. Because there aren't all of the crushes, all the crutches we have in America. Yes. If something fails, we go to this, we go to one, we go to two, we go to three. In Africa, when it fails, they go to God, and God shows up, yes. and God solves everything. So here in America and around the world, there's too many crutches. Yeah. If this fails, we go to this psychiatrist. This, well, there's only one in the continent, and it's a dependence on the Holy Spirit that's making these countries transform. I'll tell you, people, in the scriptures it says, the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Mm -hmm. Africa is an emergent continent. Yes. It's taken off, and what's happening, people? They're actually kicking off all the mentality of the West, and they're getting back to the original Africa, which is kingdoms that are dominated by the king. Yes. Come on. Dr. Mike Pitzel, we had you with us in Kenya. <laughs> we had you with us uh, 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 in, in, in Kenya. Tell us what happened when you were in Kenya. Four years, I grieved for Africa. <laughs> I didn't know I was an intercessor. Mm. I didn't know I grieved. <laughs> mm -hmm. So one day I was complaining. That's how I intercede. I complain. And uh, <laughs> I was complaining about things in Africa. Mm -hmm. There was even a lady that walked away from God in Sandy, Oregon because of the famine in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. So she got mad, God, and left. 
And in Ethiopia, I'll get there, Doc. <laughs> in Ethiopia, the famine brought the people together to where Ethiopia's hand so strong, never been colonized. Yeah. Yeah. They have that bread that got them through it. They yes. use it as a staple. Okay, so I'm crying out to God for Africa. And he says, what makes you think I'm not there? Hmm. I was like, oh, hmm. well, I've seen the news. Hmm. He's like, so hmm. you showed up and took me to Kenya. Hmm. <laughs> you didn't just take me to Kenya. He had me sitting in the room with the vice president and three men with guns, and I wanted out of there because they had guns, and if you touch this guy and break protocol, you know, I didn't want to die. I'm there. I got such a burden. I'm an intercessor. I got all this wisdom mm. from God mm. about Africa. I could go mm. in there. Mm. I'm there an hour, mm. and I looked around and went, they're so far ahead of us, it hurts. Mm. They've been doing stuff for 20 years that we're not even thinking about mm. yet. Mm. They are so organized that even the church and the government fight, but they're still knit together like nothing you've ever seen. I've never seen anything like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Uh, they, they yeah. play off of each other and, and are important to each other and can make or destroy mm. each other. So God told me years ago, he said, if you want to change the world, get to the leaders of the world. And then you showed up and started taking me to the leaders of the world. Wow, wow. people, mm. people, let me, let me tell you what's so amazing about this. I'm learning something it's the, the African leadership, Pastor Dan. Yes. I talked to the country presidents. I said, what's the problem? They said, the laws you impose are what we have to overthrow. Mm -hmm. the, the actual laws you impose yeah. put us in bondage yeah. because it wasn't birthed by us. That's mm. right. I'm telling you, people, we're going to hit some, some, major, some major sacred cows. Yeah. Some of the worst institutions for Africa is the nonprofit organizations mm -hmm. because they found ways they found ways to hide corruption. Yes. What they do, they have administration fees mm -hmm. that cover 60% of the budget. Mm -hmm. So they are riding around on an African street that costs $100 a day per diem mm -hmm. to ride on a street that's safe. Yeah. Mm. So 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 I learned something. I learned that smart people make corruption legal <laughs> and hide their stuff in what they made legal. Yeah. And they'll mm -hmm. keep you mm -hmm. in what they call illegal, which is corruption, mm -hmm. but they just pass laws to make their corruption mm -hmm. legal. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so if you make laws, if you make everything legal, nothing's corrupt. Mm -hmm. But the continent of Africa is opening its eyes today and they're saying, what you imposed on mm -hmm. us is not working for you, yeah. so it's not going to work for us. Mm -hmm. So they're overthrowing systems yeah. that, that held them in bondage. Mm -hmm. yes. Talk to me, Pastor Dan. Mm -hmm. Listen, here's what's happening in Liberia. Because <clears throat> of the incredible transformation, he has taken mm -hmm. all of these young men that went to battle with him during that civil mm -hmm. war. So they're all, I mean, all of their, he killed all their parents and forced them to <clears throat> fight with him. Yeah. Now he's taken all these young men, he's built this home, this rehabilitation to get them off of drugs, mm -hmm. to teach them, to educate them, mm -hmm. and to tell them about Jesus, mm -hmm. okay? It's the greatest successful program in the whole nation, mm -hmm. and the government, including the president herself, has taken notice of what's happening, come on now, and now they have literally, now have literally given, the government has given thousands of acres down in Sino County yes. to Joshua Bly Ministries and so you can do whatever you want to do with it. And they, their intention is to, and they've already started the process of building farms and all kinds of stuff mm. to make the people self-sufficient mm. instead of having to rely. Mm. But man, now because of the light of God's glorious gospel, it's not only impacting, you know, these young men and and everybody that knows his story, but now the government is taking notice. Man. That's what you're talking about, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You see, I want to tell you, I've learned something, Dr. Ken. It takes education and legislation to change the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Education and That's legislation. Yeah. If, if you're mistreating me, I need laws to protect me from you. Right. Mm -hmm. so, so at times people say, we need education. I'm like, and legislation. When you put legislation and education on the same thing, on the yeah. same grid, you have a nation where people are protected. And what's happening, people, let me tell you this. Please, whoever you mistreat, there's a back door to the golden rule. 
What you sow, you reap. Yes. So people, it may look like you're getting mm. away with it, mm. but you're not mm. because you've activated a law of God. Mm. This is why I teach everywhere I go the golden rule. Treat people how you want to be treated. There's an automatic law of blessing that comes with it. If I do good to you, good has to come back to me because good opens a God door. Mm. So people, so every nation that's been corrupt to other nations, you're going to experience the back door of the golden rule, mm. which is that is how you treated them is the same way you'll be treated and you can't stop it. It's a law unless you may I repent. Please, because one thing I, I got to say this, there's a kingdom of darkness and a kingdom of light. God gave me a revelation a couple weeks ago, transformed my life, took the spirit of poverty out, took sickness out. He said, son, spirits are created by laws. I said, wait, God, that doesn't make sense. He said, if I get, if, if a person got a demonic idea, they went and they pushed it through policy, that law was created by a bad spirit in someone. So what he told me, he said, in your prayer life, you have to break the laws that are wrong. So, so, so what I did, I was binding the spirit of poverty, but it wasn't going anywhere because it had a legal right. Mm -hmm. So because it came from, uh, uh, it came from the kingdom of darkness established a law of poverty, and I was living under the law. I was binding the spirit, but the law was still present. So one day God said, "Break the law of poverty." I said, "Poverty." Uh, you, you are now illegal. I break the law of yes, poverty. Yes. And, and now I bring another law from the kingdom of God, which is the law of abundance Come and on. wealth. And what took place, that law of poverty is eradicated. Yes. So it's now illegal for me to be poor because the, the, <laughs> there, there was a spirit with the law of poverty. So I was binding the spirit, but the law was still in place. So it still was, 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 was robbing my stuff. It's not anymore. Because yeah. I'm now <laughs> under a law of the abundance of God. And it takes place every Woo! day. And it has yes. to find me. And Hallelujah. it can't stop me. Because now I'm under the law of wealth. And yes. it's now illegal for me to be poor. It's illegal for me to have yes. poverty. It's yes. illegal for me to be sick. Because I broke the law of sickness. And the spirit has to go. Are you hearing this? Yeah. This is what's going to change nations. We, this is why in a kingdom it's based on laws. It's not based on spiritual prayer requests. It's, mm. based, on, it's based on being legal with God. There's a legality in the kingdom of God. So hear this, people. Laws operate in kingdoms. This is why God in Isaiah put us on thrones. He said we're on thrones. The enemy said I will send my actual throne above God's throne, not pulpits. Pulpits are not going to win this battle. It's thrones. So God's put us on thrones. I yeah. prophesy over every one of you watching right now, yeah. uh, there's a baptism of, of the prosperity. Mm -hmm. uh, the wealth of God is hitting everyone watching this. There's a new mantle upon you. Yeah. The actual law of poverty is eradicated from you. And here this Pastor Dan. God is having you go in that country. Mm -hmm. God's going to make you... Uh, he's, he's putting the spirit of Daniel upon you. You will be an advisor for the president of the country. And, and guys, this is on the Cross TV. Dr. Ooh. Joseph's network will be the most powerful <laughs> network on the continent of Africa. Uh, you, I'm speaking right now. God has says, God has says, every king needs a prophet. You will be a voice to that country. God says, I'm going to move you into that country and I'm going to establish you by the president and the president's going to move by actually thrones that you release. And so God has given you the wealth and the wisdom of nations is upon you. And God said, I had to kick you out of small things because you were loyal. <laughs> if you started, you were loyal. And God said, I had to evict you out of small things because the high call of God is for you to speak to the nations of the world. <laughs> and God said, it's taking place right now. And no weapon formed against you will ever prosper because the mantle on your life is to break poverty. But you have to break the law of poverty with the law of the wealth of God. So this is upon you right now. It's an anointing. It's a grace. And here it is. And it's not a religious one. Wherever you go, teach people on this. Teach people the actual law of wealth. It's the mantle that you were created for. And people, I'm sorry, God spoke to me this, this morning. I, uh, uh, I said, Lord, where's the wealth? He said, store it up. A bunch of people have it stored up and they aren't doing right with it. And he says, I didn't give it to actually you because I wanted you to depend on me. Everyone watching, I'm going to teach you how to pray real quick. Never ask God 
for money. Say, God, give me what I need for the assignment. Mm -hmm. I had something happen to a friend of mine. A friend of mine prayed, God, give me what I need for the assignment. They gave him $4 million buildings. The guy said, I've been waiting to give these away. But, uh -huh. but here it is. You were looking for money, and God was looking for what you need for the assignment. Yeah. So when you ask God, give me what I need for the assignment, he, if somebody has it, he can give it to you. Yeah. This is what's taking place. This, and guys, I'm telling you, God loves everyone. He didn't, he, he didn't put a special patent on any nation. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, yes. and he values every country and every person he created the exact same. There are no poor them, rich me. It's God's people. Yes. Dr. Mike, what's on your heart? It's Come God's on. creation. <laughs> yes. God loves his creation. Yes. God doesn't just love his church. He loves his creation. And this is rude, but he's even a little upset with his church. A little upset, but he's going to fix it. He's yeah. going to take care of it. He loves us. Discipline yeah. is a wonderful thing. Do not despise mm -hmm. discipline because when God disciplines, it is pure D love. And walk in government, not ministry. That's what he said. That's what I heard. Yeah. Walk and embrace government. Mm. The government of God will embrace the governments of the world. Read the Old Testament. What did God use to chasten Israel? Assyria. Hmm. Nations. Thank you, Doc. Thank see, you. See, see, what's taking place, people, is this. Your mindset, God's challenged me on my mindset. He said, <laughs> he said you treat me as if I'm number two trying to get to the top seat of number one <laughs> of, of, of a heathen. He says, I'm number one. He says, so when you go in there, you have to legislate. Guys, I tell leaders what to do. Yeah. Do this, do this, because my God. So here it is, people. We, we, we have mentored the world in a number two Jesus. Mm. We said, go get the wealth from the wicked. Go, go have an NGO or somebody pay for your missions trip. Guys, God said, that's not me. He said, you built a wrong mentality in my church. My church thinks the world has the riches and not me. And, 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 and what he's doing now, whatever you need, people, I release an anointing upon yes, you. God's yes, going to yes. give you what you need for the mission. <clears throat> it will follow you. It will run you down yes. because God knows how to fund the assignment in you. It's not predicated on you. Oh, I'm telling you guys. And what's going to happen, this is how the actual nations will see God. They will see God as we say, God, give us the provision for the mission. And God gave a guy $4 million buildings was given because God says, I have people that understand they have stewardship of my money and not ownership. On. <laughs> they have stewardship of my buildings, not ownership. So God has people that will give stuff away. <laughs> so there's an anointing on you, Dr. Ken. Gail, God's going to send your stuff all over the world. This is your season. <laughs> God's going to put you out. And here it is, people. Sometimes God has to wait for the right timing. Brother Robert Ornelas, it's time for your music. Sometimes you have to wait for the right time and yeah. stop going in business meetings and have businessmen talk you out of the timing of God because they have an idea. You wait, let God build you. He'll put you. He knows where to put you, when to put you, how to put you, and where to put you. And when he puts you yeah. in there, and guys, what you're going through now is training so when you get to the top, you can stand. I'm telling you, people, yeah. stop binding demons out of your trials and say, God, why did this thing? show up and God educate me in my trial so I know what I'm doing. Are you hearing? This is the Cross TV and Dr. Joseph's network is changing the world. Cross TV is where it's at. Dr. Joseph, we thank you yes. for, 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 for what you're doing. And God, increase this network. Yes. People, there's a new day. I'm not Woo. serving a number two God. Come I'm on. serving a number one God. Right. I'm serving a God that, that's creating things right now. Yeah. I'm not going to ask the rich heathen. God, give us what we need for the mission so that people can see you. I'm Dr. Clyde Rivers on the Golden Rule Channel. God bless you. Change the world. I'm out. <laughs> hey, come on.